Hey guys, what's up? Phone. This is our uh, channel we're starting, Ghost Aquariums. Uh, it's just a bit of an overview on where we're at at the moment and what we're doing. Kurt comes out and gives us a bit of an answer, this is his brother Aiden. Uh, as you see in this one here, we've got a uh, butterfly telescope and some ram tubes. They're adult breeders. Um, it's fancy fish, basically what I enjoy doing. Um, these are Females? some large aranda females, yes. Uh, and then on the other side, we have uh, male arandas. Now, these two here are 700 litres. They're a 1,000 litre IBCs, which I've cut down. If you come from America, they're totes. And that's 500 litres, that one there. At the end, yeah. Yeah, and that's the spray bars, uh, sump and that that comes off the biofuel and swell filter. We'll not be able to do a video on that another day. And the pipe work down the bottom actually helps with the drainage system when uh, I need to drain it out. Now this one here is more a holding tank, this is 500 litres. As I said, I've got to talk Australian, so we've got to talk litres. Um, there's some tri-colours in there, there's red and blacks, there's calico babies, there's harder to see I suppose in the black. But this is just a uh, biofilter that I built, it's got some scurrying rock on the bottom or lava rock, which wherever you come from. It goes in there and it's just got some filter packed in there with a small pump pump into there and it, do, it does a good job. We've got a quarantine tank here. We've got some mystery snails in this one. We've got some uh, baby Corridores. We've got a baby uh, Pleco oh, over there and, uh, and lots of mystery snail babies. Yep. Yeah. Um, no one's empty at the moment. Yeah, These are butterfly good. telescope pandas. Which, They're my favourite. Yeah. I love like them. those. Love We've got some calico butterfly telescope, some ranchu, an empty one, empty, <laughs> and some um, uh, river fish. fish. Not un don't know exactly what they are, ah. but they're a live bearer. They come from the Broughton River, about 30 minutes away from where I live. Uh, we caught them <laughs> three or four years ago, I reckon. We still maybe got more. Yeah, five. Uh, six. That's a single ryukin. I plan to get more ryukins, but. The, the others died. We got These, some angel uh, fish in here in a tropical tank. Where are they? We got There's one. a pair of large pair of bristle nose. Oh, I only just that's saw the that. That's a female. And the male is hiding away, and there's quite a few uh, corridores in there, and albino, and that they don't like coming out too much. So, but uh, obviously they're the parents of the babies over there. We got some black moors here. As you can see, they're uh, quite large, but. But nothing compared to the ones coming up next. <laughs> no, that's right. These uh, fellas in here are, well, two ladies, should I say, uh, a single tail and a butterfly. They're, they're, they're enormous, they are. Mm. Um, but sadly enough, out of these six here, I seem to have five males, I mean, five females, and only one male at the moment. And I have some potatoes in here growing away. Which so is, they're, they're I think it's pretty well. cool. Yeah. It is pretty cool how um, they grow. I uh, have uh, four 100 litre tubs underneath, which uh, I use them for water changes. I'll not be able to do a video on that if people like what we're doing here. But that's just a rough overview of what we're doing, and Curtis will talk to you a bit now. So, um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn the notification bell, and share with your friends if they're interested in fish. Thanks for that. See you.